So we're going to look at a little um, video on how to play a new piece, okay? So we haven't learned this one for your grade two yet. Uh, this piece is called Moderato, it's on the first page in your grade two book. Okay, we're going to listen to me play it through first, watch the little video, and then I'll teach you how to play it, hopefully. So, we've got four lines of music, and each one's got four bars on it, okay? So we're going to learn it one line at a time, and you'll realise that a lot of it is very similar or exactly the same as each other, so it's not too difficult once you get started. All your bass notes are open string, so that's really easy, okay? So you've got Ds, As, and Es. So D is the one that sits just under the stave. E is the one that's all the way at the bottom with three ledger lines and A is the one that's in the middle on the second ledger line down, okay? So try and write those in if you're not sure about them, but you should be fine, I reckon you know where they are and you'll be able to hear them if they're right as well, okay? So all the way through you've got this pattern of bass note first and then a little finger picking pattern and then in the second bar of each phrase you've got a bass note and a finger picking pattern at the same time, okay? And that's the kind of pattern that it follows all the way through. You'll see the very first thing that you see in your music on your picking hand is a little quaver rest. So it's like a little seven shape, okay? That means you don't play anything on the first quaver with that hand, instead you're going to play your bass note, okay? We've got a new technique in this as well. Can you see the two notes that are joined together by a little like smiley face sort of sign? That's called a slur, okay? And when we're going downwards, so the note for example, the second, uh, the the, the G and the F in the first bar, you're going from a G to an F and they're connected. What that means is you strike the string once and then you pull your finger off to release for the second note. So that means you need to have your F sharp already down, otherwise you'll get this, which we don't want. We want G to F, like that, okay? So you're gonna strike it once and then you're gonna pull it off to release your next note, okay? Like that. Okay? And then when you're going upwards, like in the second bar, the first two notes, you've got a C sharp to a D. Instead of pulling off, you're going to push on to your next note. So you're going to go from a B to a from a C sharp to a D with your finger. So you can see this hand only plays one note, but you're actually playing two. So anytime anything is connected like that, you're going to either pull it off or pull it, push it on. So they're really worth paying attention to. For now, if you're playing it through and you're finding it really difficult, leave those out and just play, just finger pick all the notes. But when you feel more confident, you can start putting those slurs in, okay? So the first bar is going to go like this. You've got D with your thumb, and you're going to start in second position, okay? It's got all the fingers marked on it, so you really shouldn't struggle with what fingers to put down. You might struggle a little bit on what string, but try and follow the shape. If it's going down, you need to change down a string. If it's going up, you need to change up a string. See if you can work it out. You should know all of those notes. And if you need help, you've got your little cheat sheet, okay? Okay, so it's just that little pattern there. One, two, one, O, oh, and then two on the B string, okay? So with your thumb. And then our next bar, we're going to play our thumb note and our finger picking note at the same time. So we're going to have a C sharp with our first finger and an A with our thumb. We're going to push down for that two and then up to the E string. So your first two bars go like this. nice little scale up and then a scale down very easy okay just have a look at those finger notes and those finger numbers and that should help you work out what finger to do just remember you're in second position so the numbers are your fingers not the frets okay and then in the third and fourth bar on that line we move to first position so the roman numeral says double i 
is second position and then the I itself is first position, okay? So the first two bars, you've got a Roman numeral two above it, that's second position. And then the, the third and fourth bar, you've got a Roman numeral one above it to start with. And then at the very end of bar three, you've got a Roman numeral two, which means you need to change to second position, okay? So this is bar three, you've got an A with your thumb, and then you're gonna be in first position and follow the finger numbers, two, one, two on the G string. Open B, and while you're playing the open B, you move to second position, ready for that C sharp with your first finger on second position. Okay, so that will give you that bar one more time, nice and slow. Two, one, two, oh, one. So did you see me move there from there to there, okay? And then your next bar, you've got a D and a D at the same time, so second finger and open D. And then onto the E string. Again, just following the finger numbers really simple just follow those finger numbers it'll tell you everything you need to know okay so again from bar three so you're in first position to start with two one two one two oh shift up one two oh one two four and that's your first line done the next line so line two starts with exactly the same as the first line so that's really easy so we've got again exactly the same as the first line and now on the last on the third and fourth bar on the second line can you see we're going into first position again because we've got roman numeral one and we're going to go down here and if you're not sure what the fingers are, it's the same as the bar above, but we don't change the second position. So you're going to do two, one, two, oh, two. And then your last bar on that line is a three for your D, okay? So that bar nice and slow is A, two, one, two, oh, two, three. And then open D, okay? So that whole second line goes like this. Change first position. There you go, that's the first section. Well done. So the next line is a little bit trickier. So we've got some E's in here now with our thumb. Okay, so we've got an E and we're gonna be in second position because you've got a Roman numeral two and you're, go you're gonna follow the fingers again that it's given you, okay? So we're starting on the B string with our fingers. Open E and then two, four, two, and then one, open, and then we're going to move our thumb to A, but we're going to stay on the B string, and then change to E. Just follow that finger pattern that's there, two, four, two, one, O, one, two, all that's on the B string, and then O, one, O, up on the E string, okay? Give you that one more time, nice and slow. Okay, not too bad, well done. It's a bit tricky, just have a look at those finger numbers again and make sure you're ready with that fourth finger, that's the one that's gonna catch you out, okay? Most of it's on the B string as well, so if you're not sure right what string to play on. And then we're going to go into first position for the third and the fourth bars. So we've got an open E again. And then we're down here on the D string this time. And we've got two, one, two, four. So actually first couple of notes in that bar. So this is in bar three on the third line. We've got on the D string, two, one, two, four, one. And then your next bar is two, one, two, O. Oh, two on the B, okay? One more time with all those notes, you're ready on the D string, you've got two, one, two, four, and then we change the G, one, two, one, two, and then open B, and two on the B for your last note, okay? And with the bass notes, it sounds like this. So again, if you're not sure, write those fingers in that I've just given you, okay? 
Last line, we're nearly there. Okay, so this is your last line, first bar. Can you see we're in second position again? So you're gonna put your second finger on your second, on your third fret, and we're in second position. And you're gonna go two, four, two, one, O oh, in your first bar. Okay? And then your second bar in that line, still in second position, you're gonna go two, one, two, O, oh, one. So if you're not sure, write that finger in. Ready? Two, one, two, O, oh, one. You want to go up onto the E string for your last two notes. Okay, so I'll give you that nice and slow with the bass notes. Two, four, two, one, O. Oh. Down onto the B string. Two, one, two, up to E, O, oh, one. Okay, here it is all together. And then these last two bars are the same as the last two bars on the second line. In, into first position. Two, one, two, O, oh, two, three. Open D. And there you go, you've done the whole thing. Well done. So, if you need any of that again, rewind it, go over it again and again and again. Make sure you've got the fingers written in where they haven't printed them for you because that's really going to help you. It's Normally, I wouldn't ask you to write all the fingers in, but because you've got so many changes to first and second position, it's going to be confusing. If you're not sure, write them in so you know, okay? Well done. Let, send me a video of you doing it. I'd love to see it, and I hope you get on okay with it. If you really get stuck, let me know, and I'll do even more in depth.